meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. All right, some big changes ahead in our weather. The good news is they will take a while to get here, so tonight we're fine. And in fact, for a good part of tomorrow, we are in pretty good shape as well. Right now in Live Pinpoint Doppler 12, we are completely free and clear of any precipitation as we scan the skies over southern New England. Weather headlines break down like this. The changes will start tomorrow, but tomorrow's change is pretty minor. They'll be pretty much confined to just sky cover. Wet weather is ahead for part of the weekend. And then because this is such a slow-moving storm system, it will remain unsettled as we start the work week. All right, down City Providence, another beautiful evening. What a streak of nice weather we've had around here. Temperature is down to 45 degrees. The breeze is a little bit chilly now off of the bay at 8 miles an hour. And any location along the bay or along the ocean is slightly cooler than the rest of our inland spots. You can see we're at 43 westerly, 42 Newport. Smithfield is still at 52 degrees. A few clouds kind of gliding through here over the past several hours. They'll kind of thicken up a little bit overnight as some moisture ekes out ahead of that next approaching storm system. This storm system is very, very large. You can see a center of low pressure out here in the Great Lakes. However, this is just going to kind of wobble off to our west for the next couple of days. Another center of low pressure will develop just down to our south, and it looks like the bullseye of the precipitation, along with the center of low pressure, arrives late Saturday night into Sunday. Now, out ahead of this, yes, there will be periods of light rain showers, but it doesn't look like a real soaker until at least Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. So we go hour by hour on our future cast, 11 o'clock tonight. We have a clouds uh, kind of thin for now, and then they increase as we go into tomorrow morning. By 7.30 tomorrow morning, still some spots of sunshine are possible, then the clouds do increase as we go into tomorrow afternoon. But I think any uh, mist or drizzle may be confined out here to eastern mass. Most of us will remain dry. And then tomorrow night, mostly cloudy. Chance of some light rain and mist after midnight tomorrow, but most of uh, the daylight hours of tomorrow are dry. Overnight tonight, midnight 35 degrees. As clouds start to increase, temperatures actually rebound a little bit back into the mid-30s by early tomorrow morning. Bus stop forecast 36 to 39 degrees, so not a bad morning to be out there at the bus stop. And then tomorrow afternoon, you can see by noontime 48 degrees. We're at 52 by 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so hey, not a bad day, even though we'll see more clouds when we hit the 50s this time of year. It's not too bad to be outside. All right, seven-day future cast. Some light occasional showers possible on Friday into Saturday morning, but the real steady, heavy stuff looks like it holds off until Saturday night into Sunday, possibly into Monday morning. And it's possible we do squeak out several inches of rain by the time we get into Sunday, so we'll have to keep an eye on any potential flooding situation. And then some low 50s with sunshine return for the middle of next week. WPRI.com is the place to go for all of your latest weather updates. So we hold off most of the steady stuff for the next couple days. So tomorrow, not bad. It's been beautiful this week. It really has. The slow changes start tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Pete. Yep. Coming up next. <laughs>